YouTube, but awesome writer here. Welcome to my review for the latest King Oger episode. So this will probably be a relatively short review because this week was a clip show. It's not as if things didn't happen or there isn't things to comment on, but you know, being a clip show, there's not as much meat to dive into. That sounded really weird. I actually pick up the episode with a really annoying, like ending theme-esque dance sequence where I was like, what the hell is this about? And then Geats was in there and I guess it's because they're promoting uh, the upcoming movies that are about to hit theaters in Japan, which made a lot of sense to me now. I'm like, that explains the rando that showed up in the latest Geats episode, because I'm like, who the hell is this now? I could swear that I caught up on everything there was to, and then I'm like, okay, so this is the movie I'm going to see like sometime next year now. But anyway, that's why that was there. And we kind of open up on one of those type of episodes that's like, um, you know, here's this sequence, how did we get here? And then we zoom back to figure out how we got there. And the premise of the episode is kind of about uh, Gira trying to figure out what type of king he's going to be and getting into his new role. And they set up these two narrative devices for the clip show. One of which is, um, you know, uh, what's his name? Jeremy, who also, again, is fading into the background and the amalgam of like, oh, I'm part of the team. I'm like, no, his character's so interesting. Why are we doing this? I wish he was doing more. I hope he's not going to fade into the background. So I'm still worried about that. But regardless, his character sets up part of the clip show by going over the backstory that we know, but then he adds on this thing about the old ruler of Shugadam, I think, uh, had this thing where if he was bested in a challenge or combat or whatever, one of the other kingdoms could grant a request. And that's how they set up part of the narrative device. So each character in this episode has like a request and they best Gira in these challenges. And it's not a fight, it's like a challenge that pertains to the individual, like Yanma's is a uh, like a quiz, which ends up becoming just part of the clip show. Uh, so playing piano for uh, for the Yellow Ranger and stuff like that. And th there's some funny bits in there. It's just basically, honestly, a way to uh, tell you about stuff that they've been through already and just have like, a funny sequence. Uh, the best thing about that entirely was that Rita's request was to get like exclusive airing rights or like first, um, like like a press screening, I guess you could say, to the, the Moffin episodes. Basically wants early access to him. That was the best part. So like they had some amusing bits, but there was nothing too huge or special there with the main, I guess, important narrative takeaway is just Gira's general journey trying to figure out what type of king he wants to be. The other narrative device being, um, I talked about last week, you know, the duo of Rackley supporters whose names I don't remember, who I call Bulk and Skull. Um, you know, Bulk was turned out to be a Skrull, you know what I mean, uh, it turned out to be one of the villains, and we don't know how long he's been, uh, you know, replaced. But the other guy who ran off when the Bugsters, why do I keep calling them Bugsters? When the Bugnarok attacked, like, ran off, he's applying to be, uh, like, to work with all the other kingdoms. And that was probably my favorite bit of the episode in regards to entertainment, as it was funny to see him dress up, like, to fit in with the other kingdoms and want to apply, and that was used as a device to basically do the flashbacks and the clip show about each individual kingdom that we've learned about so far. But that was the funniest bit, was seeing him go from kingdom to kingdom, wanting to fit in, ultimately ending up with Rita's, where, uh, like, they arrest him, and then they actually want him to join, or pretend to want him to join, or whatever, and he doesn't want to join. So that was the funniest bit. Like, it was, it was not the worst clip show. You know, clip shows in general, I can't think of very many clip shows that I love, except for the Community episode, where it's a clip show of clips we haven't seen yet like, from episodes we've never seen, that's, like, the best type of clip show. I think another show did that. I can't remember what it was, but bottom line is watch Community, six seasons in a movie, and the movie is happening, so thank God. Like, far from the worst clip show. There's some entertaining bits in regards to the narrative device to make the clip show happen, but at the end of the day, it was still a clip show. I do have something interesting to say about that at the end, sort of. Uh, but it ultimately ends up with uh, this sort of resolution of Gira being like, because he's trying to figure out his new motivation, or, like, what to say, because, you know, before his thing was, I'm the tyrant king that's going to overthrow... Brackley's or whatever, and this time it's like, oh, I'm the Tyrant King that's going to destroy the dreams of anyone attacking and protect the dreams of children. I'm like, that doesn't really sound evil. I, I almost wish they would kind of just drop the Tyrant King bit. Like, I don't know. I get that it's kind of part of the whole nature of Toku and all that, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm just so tired. Every time he fake laughs, it reminds me a lot of Takaharu's performance in Ninja, where it's so, like, half-hearted. Like, if you're going to be the annoying Toku character, just commit to it. It feels so restrained. I don't know. I just don't like it. Regardless, that's kind of the point of it. I think the nicest moments in the episode are him actually agreeing to rehire uh, Skull um, and saying, you know, I, I was on the run too. I know what it's like to be, like, ostracized or whatever. That was a nice moment. And then, of course, the moment where he protects one of his kids 
Um, like, like, he doesn't have kids, but you know what I mean. So there were some nice moments within there, but the whole, whole point is he kind of rediscovers his new motivation, and then all the King Odors unite to fight this villain that's attacking the end. And it's sort of like a cliffhanger-ish. Like, it, it's kind of weird because it's a clip show, but then it, it has this conflict bookending the episode that's going to lead into the next episode as we're starting this arc, uh, it seems, about the castle that's coming up. But yeah, it was fine. You know, it was a clip show. There was some stuff, you know, that's going to be sort of important leading into the next one, but it wasn't the most entertaining or important episode. I would probably give it just a 2 out of 5. Like, it wasn't terrible or anything, but again, it's a clip show. So, I will say, though, I did wanted to bring this up at the very end. I do have, admittedly, a new appreciation for clip shows, just because I recently caught up on Revice, and while I did remember most of the broad strokes, I kind of had some fuzzy memories of, like, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't remember exactly how this happened or whatever. And when I was going to catch up, there was a clip show episode that aired, like, two episodes before where I left off that I had already watched, but I rewatched it, and it did kind of jog my memory. So I do think that's kind of actually valuable, especially in... Uh, toku series where you have more episodes than you need to every now and then have a check-in obviously i think the primary reason they do it is for budgetary reasons so that they can you know save budget on the episode but i think when you do have such a long-running series if it's something that you know like me when i revise it's been a while and you need a refresher they are actually kind of valuable in that sense like i was actually really grateful to that revise episode to remind me of things that i had forgotten and also just it kind of helped me you know slip back into that series so i will say that but what did you guys think of this week's clip show episode? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.